Hey, what's up guys? It's LeBrock here, and today we're going to do a tutorial on how to split uh, your audio so you can stream on Twitch and YouTube, so you can have separate audio uh, uh, split in OBS using virtual audio cables. So instead of having everything go through your desktop audio, it will go through separate uh, separate channels so you can manage it and mute it for yourself and have your say for Spotify you can mute it for yourself but have it still play on your stream so you can focus your stream can have something to um, uh, relax to and for uh, and you can mute it say like this you want to listen to Spotify music but you don't want your stream to you can mute it for your stream but have it play for your uh, for on your end and same goes for discord and so this is how you do it but you're gonna have some prerequisites. The first thing you need is OBS or Streamlabs OBS. Uh, Stream Streamlabs OBS is a version of OBS where you can have uh, stream labels and alerts all in all in the application. So uh, I prefer Streamlabs OBS. You can get it from here, Streamlabs.com. I will link everything in the description. But you're going to need to install it, uh, and you can see here, like Ninja, Lyric, Summit, 1G, they all use it, but... Uh, next one you need to get is Virtual Audio Cable and Voice Meter. They come from the same website. If we go here, they come from VB Audio Software. You can get Virtual Audio Cable here. We're going to need that to split the audio. We're also going to need Voice Meter Banana, which is, which is an advanced version of Voice Meter. So I'm going to... So we need Voice Meter Banana. Um, and you're going to need to install both of those. Uh, for the virtual auto cable, you're probably going to need to restart your computer. So once you install it, it's just going to say like restart your computer, finalize it, I'm pretty sure. So once you do that, restart it, and then come back to the video. And the last thing you're going to need is audio router. Audio router is what we're going to use to uh, route uh, our audio. Since we only get one uh, virtual audio cable, we're going to need to use... Uh, Voice Meter Bananas, uh, aux input to to uh, split ver uh, Spotify's uh, audio. So we're gonna need uh, audio router to just route Spotify's Spotify's audio to the Voice Meter aux input. But we'll get to that. So make sure you install all these. You might need to restart for this. But once you have all these installed, then we can move on. So once we have everything. Uh, now, uh, everything installed, what we need to do is, in, is go into Streamlabs and set uh, everything up first. So let's go into Streamlabs. You can see it's uh, we have some inception going on here. What we need to do is go into settings and go into our audio and make sure that desktop audio device 1 is set to voice meter input and desktop audio device 2 is set to voice meter aux input. And at least for Streamlabs OBS, uh, I only get two desktop audio devices. It's okay because we can set more by uh, I will show you later how to set more But uh, I think in OBS you're able to, to just set it uh, natively like go I think it was like in like output yeah, you can like set like the audio tracks or whatever And then that would actually set it down here so you can have so you can see more but that doesn't actually work for me So I only get two so that's I'm gonna that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do um, if there's any way to do it in Streamlabs OBS without having to uh, add an audio aux output or audio output, because what you would do to have more, just click and then go audio output capture, which we're going to do in a second. So, if there's any way to do it other than just setting these two and then adding more, uh, let me know. But that's how we do it. Just set the to voice meter aux input and set the desktop audio device one and voice meter input. Now, so we have that all set up, then we need to go to. We actually need to go to Voice Meter. So, once we're in Voice Meter, we're gonna we're gonna need to set. Uh, let's, okay, we're gonna need to set the hardware output to your speakers. So make sure that it's set to your speakers, the WDM or the MME. That's what I have available to me. If you only have one or the other, just set it to. Just set it to the just set it to your speakers, but I have it. I think WDM is better. I actually don't know, but I think it's better. So I just set it to that. And once you have that done, and you can see that we have uh, everything working, you can actually hear audio. So we can actually hear audio and everything. 
we're going to set our hardware input to our microphone set it to your microphone and we're going to set our hardware input to to our cable uh virtual audio cable output so you're going to make sure to uh we have to make sure to do that because this is important to actually get it to work for streamlabs so make sure you set it to the audio cable output and let's move on to getting our Spotify to be working. So what we're going to need to do is open up Spotify. You can see I have Spotify working and we play some audio. Uh, let me actually go to non-copyright non, non sound. See that you, we can hear audio but it's going through our desktop audio and it's, and it's not going through our Spotify audio. And our Spotify audio, I just renamed it. It's actually called like Desktop Audio 2, and that's just that's just the voice meter aux input. It's not going through that. And in order to set that so it's not going through desktop and it's going through another channel, we're gonna need our audio router. So once we're in audio router, we can uh, we need, we need administrative. Uh, oh, it's already running. My bad. We're gonna need ad administrative uh, privileges, but what we're gonna do is it's gonna look like this. And also, yeah, we're gonna need to set the voice meter as our as our default device. So let me go ahead and set that. So it's because right now just it'll just be like your speakers. That'll be what your your default is. So let me go to our, your playback devices over here, and make sure that uh, your speakers is not your default playback device. It's actually your voice meter input that's your default playback device. So that's so you, you're gonna need you're going to need that. And what we're gonna do is just switch the view. You can set it from here. I like it this way. You can switch the view, and you can go and select Spotify. Double click Spotify, and it says route audio. We're gonna set the we're gonna route the audio to. Uh, voice meter aux input. We're going to route it to there. Click OK. And now there's a glitch for, on, at least for me, there's a glitch where I can't hear it anymore. So uh, what I have to do is just switch it to my other speaker and then switch it back. So where now I can hear it. And now if I play it again. You can hear it. And now let me lower it. You can see that it's not going through uh, desktop audio anymore. It's going through our Spotify, which, as we know, is our voice meter aux input. It's going through the other channel. And so the cool thing that we can do now is that I can mute it right, right here. I can mute it. And now I'm not hearing it, but you guys still are. You guys are still hearing the Spotify audio. But if I unmute it, now we both hear it together. And if I mute it on your end, like this, now... Now you guys aren't hearing it, but I'm hearing it on my end. So this is the great thing that we can do for Twitch streaming. So let me let me just pause it, or let me unmute it here. So you get, now we both can hear. It. I'm just gonna pause it. Now let's get to uh, the Discord audio. So if we have everything installed and correct, what we can do is add a new source, add output capture, and we can uh, add a new output capture. So we're gonna add a new source and make sure the device is going to be cable input your VB audio virtual cable it's going to be it's going to be called cable input if you don't see that then you uh you might not have uh, installed the cable the cable input correctly you might need to uh, uh install it again or uninstall it and reinstall it and make sure it pops up if not just contact me we'll figure it out together you can add me on discord and we can figure it out um and just click uh cable input there we go now we have our uh now it should say audio output capture here. And now we can gotta go into Discord settings. We gotta go into uh settings, voice and video, and make sure it's gonna be on speakers before. What we need to do is set it to cable input. There we go, we set it to cable input and Okay, so in order to test it on Discord, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a music bot in here. Uh and I'm just gonna unpause the music bot on here. On pause. Now it's gonna start playing. You can turn it up if you want. And now you can see that it's playing. You turn toward me. In here. You so weak. See it's I've playing over here, but not playing in desktop I audio. And I can mute it for you guys. I can still hear it.
but and if I unmute it now, you guys can hear it and we can both hear it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna disconnect. That is uh that is uh you can, we can see that Discord is now split and it's the desktop uh audio is split and the virtual audio cable is working. That is how you do it. That's how you split all the audio so you can have um you can have your Discord and Spotify audio split. And it's not going through your desktop audio, so you could so you can mute it. You can mute your Spotify and an audio output capture. And you can mute your desktop audio too. So what we can do is now everything is muted. You can go to your stream starting over here, and it is. And now you can just have uh have your Spotify going. You can mute your microphone and everything. And only your Spotify is playing, so you can talk to your friends on Discord or whatever, and the people on the stream won't be hearing you. So, uh, that is how you, uh, you split the audio, and you might be wondering, well, how do you get more audio cables if I need more? Well, in order to do that, you're actually going to need to pay for it. It's donationware to get additional cables. You're going to need to, uh, it's going to be donationware. I think the minimum they put is five, five dollars, five euros or five dollars, you know, get additional audio cables. But for in my case, I need I can just use the free version because I only need for Spotify and Discord. Um, so yeah, that is how you do it. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. I will also put my Discord in the description so you can add me and ask me some questions. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.